morning, sir. Yeah, good morning. Uh, may I know your good name? I'm Robin Matthews. Yeah, Matthews. So, uh, how are your resume? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, Matthews, quickly introduce yourself before yeah. moving to the interview. This is Robin Matthews, sir. I'm from Hyderabad, which is famously known as known for biryani. Okay. Yeah, I have recently completed my graduation in BTEC stream of CSE, okay. in Shreya Sinhali College. Okay. Uh, I have done my schooling and 12th in St. Joseph High School. Okay. Um, I am passionate about to be a software engineer. Yeah, okay. Uh, my interests are uh, surfing internet, yeah. learning new programs. Okay. Uh, and um, coming to my family background, I am from a nuclear family. Uh, they help me, they inspire me a lot. Okay. Yeah, that's all about it. Yeah, uh, fine. Uh, you are good at with programming language. Mm, Python. Python. Okay. So you are have like you have a knowledge on Python, right? So can you ever that oops? Yes. Okay. So what is oops and uh, it, uh, Python support that oops? Yeah, it supports. Oops. Yeah. Okay. So explain what is object oriented program. Yeah. Oops, nothing but object oriented program. It is one of the style, one of the style of programming language. Okay. Uh, it has types in it. Abstraction, encapsulation, inheritance, okay. and uh, polymorphism. Okay. It is uh, it is done by classes and objects, tinkered with methods. Yeah. Okay. So you said that uh, class. Yeah. Okay. So what are the class attributes and instance attributes? So class attributes, nothing but uh, which are given, which are initialized within the class, and it, it can be initialized outside of the method also. Uh, and uh, instance attributes is given it within the object. Yeah, okay. Can you ever that local attributes? Yes, local. Local attributes means? Local variables. Yes, yes. Local yeah. variables means? This are instance. Yeah, okay. Okay, so fine. Uh, you said that there is a polymorphism. Yeah. Okay, so can you give, explain that to method overloading and overloading con yes. overriding concept? Yeah, method overloading means uh, it has two methods with the same, with different parameters. Okay. Is known as method overloading. Method overriding means same methods with same parameters. Okay. Uh, it supports inheritance concept also. Okay. So inheritance concept. Okay. So you said that inheritance. So now tell me what are the advantages of this inheritance? Uh, code reusability. Okay. Uh, it uh, transfer transfer of uh, properties from parent class to subclasses. Okay. That that derived all the classes sir. Okay, how you can uh, build the relationship between one class to another class parent chain? How you can build a relation? It is a parent and A, a class I have, B class I have. Yeah. Uh, how you can build B child to that A? B of A we have to uh, Which keyword we are using? Which keyword we are class using? Class of B of A. Uh, of. Yeah. Okay. So and, uh, yeah okay, so how you can declare a variable? Yeah, uh, Matthews, like uh, what is variable declaration and what is variable initialization? Yeah, variable, we can declare variable in three methods, single variable, single variable to single value to single variable, okay. single value to multiple variable, multiple value to multiple variables. Yeah, okay. In declaration, initialize also we are giving values to yeah, variable. fine. So, have you ever the identifiers concept? Yes. Yeah, okay, so what are the identifiers having in Python? Object name, class name, okay. function, method. Okay. So give two rules or any two rules? Yeah. It should not start with any keyword. Okay. It should not start with digit or any special characters. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, if you take class name, yeah. class name can accept space like uh, notebook is the class name. Note space book, no, it sir. is acceptable. No, okay. Fine. And which type of operator support in Python? There are seven operators. That's okay. Support. Just name them. Arithmetic. Okay. Relational, logical. Okay. Arth, uh, assignment. Okay. Uh, bitwise operator. Okay. And uh, identity identity operator. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so fine. These are operator. I uh, give some mathematic operator symbols. Which symbols it support? Arithmetic operator. Addition, subtraction. No, that is a function. Yeah. Symbol name. Add sub plus. Okay. Plus subtract. Plus minus. minus. Okay. Into. Okay. Modulo. Okay. And uh, flow division. Okay. Exponent. Uh, okay. You said that into into represents which symbol? Multiplication. Okay. Which symbol? Cross mark yeah, or star? Cross mark. Cross mark or star? Cross mark. 
Yeah, okay, fine. Uh, check once again. Okay. Into. Uh, okay. So, is there any may other name for uh, into? Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, we can use into also, but good programming, so you need to mention the type. What you need to mention? Yeah, okay. So, okay, I think you would be theoretical. Uh, you are practicing any programs like numbering programs? Yeah, okay. So, just to give orally, like uh, we have functions, right? How we can pass the functions in keywords? We have to pass functions, uh, we have to pass arguments in keywords like in dictionary format. Okay. Uh, First, we have to mention declare a method. Okay. Pass the arguments. Okay. Uh, ne next, uh, print the out print the arguments. Okay. Next, uh, after ne next in calling function, you have to give them. It can be in any position. Uh, in keywords, uh, it can be in any position. The output will be given in any position. Okay. How can you create object? How can you? Uh, we create. How can we create object? Uh, my class name is. E. Yeah. How you create object to the object to the class. Name. Is it correct way? Object name okay. equal to class name. Yeah, okay. Fine. Yeah, okay. I think I done with my side, Matthews. And you have any queries to ask? Uh, no, sir, thank you. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank you for it.